Good morning, it's Andy from PCI Global, a very quick morning video on risk and nearly the definition of risk. I put a video out the other day with what was the purpose and Charlie Swanson quite rightly made reference to the definition of risk, meaning what organisations should do, i.e. come up with a definition so everybody uses the same terminology. Well, a quick look around. I'm yeah, one or two miles from my house in a place called Lacher Estuary, absolutely beautiful place, um, but one of the fastest inlets in the UK. A very dangerous river, actually, but it obviously looks beautiful. So back to that risk, which obviously there's risk here, isn't it, with the, with the estuary. But risk, um, 31,000, as I tend to refer to, I, I like that definition of risk. A lot of people don't actually like that. They think it's too simplistic, but... When you look at the supporting notes, of which there are three, then that for me, over the years, since it came out in 2018, has been my go-to for risk definitions. And why? Because I think it supports, when you take the notes into consideration, it supports um, enterprise risk management to include health and safety, in my opinion, and security as well. So let's look at that risk. What is it? So risk, according to ISO 31000, is the effect of uncertainty on objectives it then goes to split excuse me it then goes to split down um, with three notes so the, it splits down the effect it, slip, it splits down objectives and then it talks about consequences and likelihood so let's go through that risk is the effect of uncertainty on objectives so the first thing is effect what, what do we mean by effect well the notes tell us that effect is just a deviation from what was expected. So deviation from what was expected, that can be positive, negative, or both. And it can also address or result, create threats and opportunities. So that's the, the effect. So the effect can create, result, or address, or deal with threats or opportunities. So this is where it gives us the first direction that it includes the upside of risk. Quite simply and basically, when I think of that, if I'm looking at working at height, somebody working at height, then what you're going to do, you're cleaning some gutters, let's just say that. So the effect of uncertainty on objectives. But when you look at what the effect is, positive and negative, if you get your gutters cleaned, you're going to be happy. You could also maybe find out, like I did lately, you've got squirrels in your attic when you're up there, and realistically that needs to be addressed. So it's a bit of a positive as well that comes from that. If you fall off a ladder, then ultimately, that's not so good, is it? Because ultimately, uh, yeah, that's the downside. I'm going to switch quite quickly here to something that happened to me this morning. I'm out here walking in this beautiful countryside and the effect of uncertainty this morning is all over my shoe, right? Because no matter what we think about beautiful people and all that, it is what it is. Some people are just lazy. So as you can see there, my shoe is currently covered in what I'm only going to describe as dog toffee because people can't be bothered picking up their dog poo. Now, this isn't a rant by me. It's just maybe it's a small rant. But ultimately, this is, this is life, isn't it? So that affect people's, act, people's actions, you know, are going to affect everybody. You get up, it's a beautiful day. I go down the estuary, might make a video, and I'm going to step in dog toffee. You nearly slip, nearly break my leg, and then uh, end up putting it in a video. I don't know why I'm doing this. But ultimately, the effect, the effect of uncertainty. The other note that it goes on to say, then, is about objectives. And this is where it really, really links to enterprise risk management for me. It's the objectives. It says, 31,000 says, that the objectives themselves can have different aspects and different categories, and they can be set at relevant levels of an organisation. That really makes sense to me. Think about organisation, strategic level, tactical level, and operational level. If we set objectives at all those levels, then we will be supporting the purpose of risk management, which is the creation and protection of value. So that second, that second note to... The, the actual definition there about objectives is very, very relevant to me for uh, enterprise risk management. And it's usable. It's usable, like we, when I mentioned the other day about the purpose of risk management, it's usable to talk to organisations. Now what I'm currently doing, I'm just doing my 5 and 20 metre checks on the floor, which I wasn't doing earlier on. Hazard identification. The final note is about risk itself and how it is sometimes expressed. So it goes on to say that risk is generally or can be is usually normally expressed in terms of risk sources. So where it came from, um, potential events, their 
consequence and their likelihood. Now, consequence and likelihood is what the majority of us do sort of uh, think about when we think about risk. So in that note, it does say it. So it's not just the effect of uncertainty on objectives. It is those notes underneath it as well. So what have we mentioned there in the notes? We've mentioned the event. Okay, then we mentioned the objectives. And then we said what most people recognise is that likelihood and that consequence. So that's it. How long did that take? Five minutes, a little bit longer than usual. Um, I'm off now to uh, dip my shoe in the in the water to wipe off the effect of uh, somebody else's laziness thanks for watching if you did stay safe